Welcome! In front of me I have Emporio Armani connected and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First you will need to turn on the watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the crown button. Keep holding it until you see the logo on the screen and once you see it you can re release the qu uh, crown button and wait until the watch turns on. And once the watch uh, turns on, you will see the tap to begin message on the screen. Basically, what we need to do is to tap on the screen. And after uh, you tap on the screen, you will see the list of languages. And you can scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen. Now, find the language you would like to use on your watch and tap on it to select it. For example, I'm going to select English United Kingdom. And after you select the language, you will need to agree to the terms of use. So you can tap on the check mark right here. And after that, you should see this on the screen. It means we need to download and install the Wear OS application on our phone. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled on your phone. Once you do, open the uh, Google Play Store. In the Play Store, tap on search, type in uh, Wear OS and tap on search. You should see this application, Wear OS by Google. Now tap on the install button to download and install it. And after the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the app, tap on the start setup button. Tap on agree. Here you can agree to send the diagnostic reports and data to Google if you want to. I'm just gonna tap on no thanks to skip it. And now we need to wait until the app detects our watch. And as you can see, here we have it. So once you see the watch on the list, tap on it. Here tap on pair. And right here we can copy the Google account from our phone to our watch. This is useful if you want to use um, Google services on your watch like uh, Gmail, Play Store and stuff like that. Um, if you don't care about it, you can tap on skip and skip this step. I'm gonna copy an account and to do it, you need to basically tap on the switch next to the account right here to disable it or enable it. If you enable it, the account will be copied. If you disable it, it will be skipped. I'm gonna copy only this one. So I make sure it's enabled, then tap on next, then tap on copy. Confirm. Basically, if you have some kind of screen lock protection on your phone, you need to confirm by entering the pin, password or pattern or with the uh, fingerprint. And after that, you will see this on the screen. And here we can basically allow the watch to connect to the Wi-Fi network. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and the watch will be disconnected from the Internet for now. Later on, you can connect it via the settings. But let's say I want to connect it now. Uh, so let's tap on connect it or connect rather. As you can see, it will enable the Wi-Fi and connect to one. Next, we have the option to enable the uh, or rather allow the permissions for the features like contacts, uh, messages, calls and stuff like that to work on our watch. If you don't care about those features, you can tap on skip and keep them denied the permissions. But if you want uh, the features to work, you need to allow the permissions. So you can tap on next and keep allowing them by tapping on allow. Next, we have the calendar uh, permission. So basically, if you want to use the calendar and get the notifications from e events and stuff like that, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and keep it denied. I'm going to tap on next and allow it. And here we have the notifications. So basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, you need to allow the notification a permission. If you don't care, you can tap on skip to keep it denied. I'm going to tap on allow. Tap on allow. And that should redirect us to the notification page. For some reason, it didn't. So let's tap on allow again. Oh, now it did. So basically, here we need to find the Wear OS by Google on the list. Make sure it's allowed. If it's not, tap on it and tap on the switch right here to allow the notification access. And once it's allowed, you will see that you will skip uh, to the next step in the application, basically. 
and here we can allow the permission for the location. So tap on next, or apparently we don't need to. And now let's wait until the setup is finished. Okay, and once you see this screen, you can tap on done. And this should redirect you to the device page of your Emporio Armani connected watch. Also, uh, on the watch, you will see that the tut tutorial will pop up on the screen. Uh, let's wait a couple seconds. Oh, here we have it. You can tap on learn more and you can go through it by simply uh, swiping in different, on different, rather in different directions on the screen. So you can swipe right like that, then go back to the home page, swipe left, go back to the home page, swipe down, go back to the home page and swipe up and go back to the home page. Then press the button, press the button again, press and hold on the screen. And that's about it, I think. Yes. Okay. And at this point, your watch is ready to use. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.